Hey everyone, Wazoo here, and this is another episode of Wazoo Web Bytes. I thought I would put together a little video today on some Java Spring Boot project starter templates that you can use today to get started on your own Java Spring Boot project. Yeah, we've gone through a few tutorials on this website. I'll provide some links in the description down below. But it's also important to be able to use something right out of the box with Java Spring Boot. Okay, so let's get started. So the first project starter template is what you would normally get from the regular start.spring.io site that we've got right here. This is, we've been using this on just about all of the Spring Boot projects on this channel so far, and it's a supported by the Java Spring Boot team and gives you a sort of a wizard or a generator to go through and select the various project dependencies and types that you want to set up for your project. So you set up and add the dependencies you want, you hit the generate button, and then you've got a zip file that contains sort of the base skeleton of elements to work with. So that's the first one. The second one I've come across is a GitHub template called Bootiful Spring Boot 3. This is maintained, created and maintained by Josh Long, who is a Spring developer advocate at VMware. He puts together some pretty good uh, content for Spring Boot. I found this project, it's a little bit light in his in, in terms of features that are implemented uh, right out of the box, but it does help to illustrate some of the new concepts that have been introduced in Spring Boot 3.x. So basically anything uh, newer since the Spring Boot 3 version of the project. And this gives you ideas for incorporating into your own project. So it's a pretty good resource for learning some of the things like that. And this might look familiar to some of, some of you. This is my own Spring Boot to-do application, which I've gone through in another video on this channel on how to create from scratch. So if you're if you're new new here, then this is a great little project for getting your feet wet with Java Spring Boot. It's making use of a what I call a standard, quote unquote standard Spring Boot application architecture that is set up to support model view controller and it has some basic model support and a front end as of recording this video, it's a front end based on the Timeleaf uh, front end library that comes with Spring Boot. So it can be a great starter for you if you want to use it, clone it and use it for your own project. Next up, we have another one of the projects that I've gone through on this channel, which is a blog application written for Java Spring Boot. It can also be used as a project template once you clone it. It's a little bit more advanced than the to-do application in that it, is, it has support for several different models with different relationships between all of them. And it so it gives you an idea of how to generate and maintain some of those relationships. Along with a similar application architecture for Spring Boot that supports the model view controller paradigm. It also comes with support for user accounts and as well as user roles. And next up on the list, we've got a project called jhipster. So again, I'll put the link in the description down below. So jhipster is a development platform to quickly generate, develop, and deploy modern web applications and microservice architectures. It is a project generator of sorts in that you go through a CLI tool to generate a, a project template for use for your application. And you can, you can use it to create a monolith or a microservice architected project. I've used jhipster before and it gives you a, a pretty good project starting point at the cost of quite a bit of baked in project middleware. So if you want to use it in for learning a lot of the middleware concepts within Spring Boot. So things like filters, web filters, and how you know things like cores might be set up and working 
uh, like little bits and pieces that you don't normally think about until you're deep into them in a Spring Boot project, then it's all kind of baked behind their own uh, maintained library, which you can look at. It's all open source, but it's just uh, tracking some of that source down when you want to look at what's going on and what you you may or may not need everything that a jhipster project provides i find it it's it can be quite a heavy by default sort of setup and dependencies but everything is open source and they have a pretty good community and lots of posts and resources available on stack overflow and in their github to track issues or figure out how to con- how to set up and configure something that you're trying to get working in your own project. So that's what I've come up with for five project starter template points to clone and use as your own um, groundwork ground bed for your next Spring Boot project. Whoa, I'm going to introduce a bonus project starter site, bootify.io. And it's structured quite similar to the start.spring.io website in that you go through and you can create your own project with a form wizard that they've also got set up. So you can you can use the, basically it, it wraps the default start.spring.io options. So it gives you a uh, the similar options as well as dependencies that you can add. And then it goes into things like being able to add entities. So you can add, um, if, you, if you know what kind of entities you have right up front, then you can enter them here and it will generate them as part of the project along with any data objects that you might have. They do offer several price points, but they have a free version available where you that you can use for your own project starting starting point. And then you can take it from there if you, in, you know, really want their support on other features that you're working with in your code base. But it can be also a really good starting point for learning a more advanced Spring Boot project, as well as just being able to start right out of the gate with something that's a, a lot more default than what you get from a standard start.spring.io generated project. And there we go. That is five Spring Boot project starter templates, along with a bonus one, that you can use to get started on your own Spring Boot project today. I regularly keep my eyes open for others that are out there. It's a There's many opportunities, I think, for really good projects that can be used similar to the J-Hipster and Bootify sites. There's many opportunities for other project templates for Spring Boot 3. They are just, I couldn't, I couldn't find uh, very many of them. So, but I think that there's, there are a lot out there and they project templates in any language or framework gives you, once you understand the basics and you, you've started your own project from scratch a few times, then you, I find that you generally end up creating a lot of the same base architecture between projects, especially with Spring Boot. So some of these starter templates, such as my own or jhipster or this Bootify project generator, for example, they give you a good ground point to start from and you'll be able to get moving quicker on the ideas you're trying to implement with your project. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching all the way through. If you liked what you saw, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel for other notifications on the next video I release. And whatever you do, have a great day wherever you are, and we'll see you next time. Peace.